connect to your router's interface. Typing routerlogin.net or routerlogin.com into a web browser will take you to the router's web interface, in most cases. If routerlogin.net or orbilogin.net don't give you access to the GUI, don't worry. In this video, I will show you how to get around that problem. You will learn how to find the IP address of your router using a PC or a Mac. On a PC, press the Windows key, type CMD, and press Enter. Now type ipconfig and press Enter. Look for the IP address for the default gateway and make note of it. On a Mac, click on the Apple icon and then click on System Preferences and finally click on Network. There is the address. The IP address that you find could also be 192.168.0.1.1.1.100.1 or any other address really. Take the address that you find for the default gateway and enter it into a web browser. The default gateway is your home router. And that's it. This should bring you to the login screen. For more information about Changing your network name and password on your Netgear Wi-Fi router is fast and easy. Before continuing, make sure that your device is connected to your router. Once connected, open your internet browser and enter routerlogin.net in the address bar. When prompted, enter admin for the username and password for the password. To change your SSID and password, click the wireless tab on the routerlogin.net basic page. Once you have updated your network settings, click apply. After the settings have been applied, you will need to reconnect to your router using your new network login information. Connect to your router's interface. You can use routerlogin.com or enter the IP address of your router. That should bring you to the login screen. The default password is password. We will change it to a secret word. Once you have logged in, let's go to advanced then go to administration and then go to set password to change the default password to a new password or to change an old password to a new one we first need to enter the last password we use in the case of changing the default password you should type password for the password and then type your new password then type your new password one more time. Then click on apply. You will be taken to the login screen. Type your new password to log in. And that's it. You have changed your password. In case your password is lost or forgotten, password recovery will help you gain access to your device without losing any of its settings and configurations. It is really simple and very useful. Let's set it up. Click on Advanced, and then click on Administration, and then go to Set Password. Click the box where it says Enable Password Recovery. It works by selecting two questions and typing answers that are easy to remember or impossible to forget. Select the question that best suits you and then type an answer. 
select a second question and type an answer and click on apply. You have successfully set password recovery on your device. Installing your N router is both easy and fast using the Netgear Installation Assistant. Before continuing, note that earlier N router models may use Netgear Smart Wizard. Be sure to check the description below to confirm that this video will support your specific router model. If your router is not included in the description below, please watch our installation with Netgear Smart Wizard video instead. To begin the setup process, remove the power from your old router and disconnect the Ethernet cable from your modem. Unplug the power adapter and remove any backup batteries. Wait 10 seconds before returning the power to your modem. Use the included yellow Ethernet cable to connect your modem to your router. Plug one end into the modem and the other into the yellow Ethernet LAN port on the back of the router. Now plug your router into a power source. If no LEDs turn on, make sure to press the power button on the back of your router. Once the power LED turns orange, allow up to one minute for the router to boot up. Once your router is fully powered on, the power and internet LEDs will light solid green. You can now configure your router with either a wired device such as a laptop or wireless device such as a tablet. For a wireless connection, find the pre-configured network settings printed on the bottom or back of the router. These settings are unique to your router, so they do not need to be changed. To connect your device wirelessly, find the unique network name in the list of available Wi-Fi networks. Select it and enter your network key. Once connected, Open a browser. Netgear Installation Assistant should automatically display. If it does not, open your internet browser and enter routerlogin.net in the address bar. When prompted, enter admin for the username and password for the password. Once the congratulations screen appears, select Take Me to the Internet. To ensure the best performance of your router, return to routerlogin.net, type in the username and password, and check for firmware updates by either selecting the notice at the top or navigating to Advanced, Administration, then Firmware Upgrade. You can select Check to find the latest firmware. After updates are installed and the router reboots, you may need to reconnect to the network. A good tip is to use the same Wi-Fi network name and key as your old router. That way, all of your existing Wi-Fi devices will automatically connect to your new network. To change your SSID and password, click the wireless tab on the routerlogin.net basic page. Once you have updated your network settings, click apply. After the settings have been applied, you will need to reconnect to your router using your new network login information. Your Netgear router is now set up and ready to power your network.